What's up, y'all? It's me, Kells. Let's make a pecan apple pie. I got my apples right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the skin. And then I'm going to slice them up into slices. Then I'm going to pour them into a large pot. Crank the stove up to about medium heat. And then add in some white sugar. Then I'm going to add in some brown sugar. Then after that, I'm going to go in with some cinnamon. And after that, I'm going to go in with a little nutmeg. Now I'm just going to add about a half a stick of butter and then I'm just going to let it cook until I start to see some liquid. Now after that I'm going to throw in my pecans and then I'm going to add my vanilla. Now I'm going to make a cornstarch slurry that's just cornstarch and water. This is going to act as a thickener. So I'm just going to pour that right on in and let it cook for a few minutes until it gets a little thick. Now once it gets thick, I'm just going to remove it from the heat and set it aside. Now I got some Pillsbury pie crust here. Yeah, I got Pillsbury. I am not making this from scratch. I'm just going to add it to my baking dish and I'm going to make sure that I cover it really well. Make sure I get it in all the corners. And then I'm going to start dipping out that apple filling. Now I'm going to fill that pie crust to it's just about to the top. Now look at that. Doesn't that look good? So now I'm just going to take the second pie crust. Remember there's two in the pack. And I'm just going to start slicing about 10 one inch pieces. Just about like that. Now I'm going to start layering those pieces right across the top of my pie crust. Making sure that I layer them in the same direction. Now when I'm finished with that I'm just going to start layering them in the opposite direction. But this time I'm going to lift every other one. And then I lay those two pieces down and lift the next two and layer another piece across. Now when I'm finished with all of that, it's time for me to do the edges. Now I'm old school so I'm just going to do it the exact way my mama used to do it. I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to go all the way around the edges of this pie. Now y'all look at this. Come on now, look at that pie. I didn't want to waste the rest of my dough so I just cut out some little hearts and decorated the top of my pie. Now doesn't that look cute? What y'all think? Next I made a little egg wash that's just a little water and an egg and I just rubbed it on the top of my pie. Now I couldn't find my pastry brush so I just used a spoon. After that I just sprinkled on a little sugar just to make it a little shiny and this is what it looks like. Now it's time to pop it in the oven. After about 45 minutes of oven time and it's all golden brown, now it's time to reap the benefits. Y'all know I did. I did that. I dug right into that whole pie. I didn't even wait. And OMG, that thing was on point. Mm, mm, mm.